So this exercise is a, um, just a simple dumbbell extension, um, or like a, call it like a roll back, so using this little bit of momentum just to get off the shoulders. And as you come straight, you're just extending the triceps. So you bring it here, as the arms come down slightly and they become vertical, you then extend with the triceps. It's quite pretty useful to improve your bench press, because at the very top of the bench press, it's that extension from the triceps which is going to work. So it's a good isolation movement just for that. In this session, it's predominantly going to be triceps and biceps focus on your typical arm session. So that was just a good first set of 15 reps I did. And then I'm going to go do slightly heavier weight now. Um, and I'm still going to try and push for 15 reps, but I might take some slight pauses in between. So I might give myself three to five seconds rest to make sure I can get that 15 reps out. And you'll see how it works, but ultimately it just helps you go to failure on a much heavier weight. So we can really push, them, um, push that level of fatigue on this next set, but a little bit heavier weight. So that was more like a pre-fatigue set, and this next set's gonna be the main working one where I'm gonna go completely all out. You'll notice I hit failure at about 10, and then I had some really long pauses just for me to rest so I could get those extra five reps out. And as soon as I hit failure fatigue, where I knew I wouldn't be able to get that last one up, I then dropped the weight to a much, dropped it by 20 pounds. So I then forced out as many as I possibly could there, but that lighter weight can still help you go to that fatigue. So now I can move on to the next exercise. You know, you look to isolate the tricep from a different angle. That's good. It's good, strong. <laughs> so, that's the dead stop skull crusher. Um, this is a movement I've, or an exercise I picked up off my coach, Dr. Josh Hill. So if you don't follow his stuff, make sure you do. Very knowledgeable. I've learned so much from him. So I'm hugely grateful for all the work and investment in time that he's put into me to help me to get to where I am now. But fantastic exercise. Again, I always the tricep. But to really... The reason why it's called a dead stop is because the, the bar and the weight is going to move from a fixed position. So again, you're not using that momentum. So it's personally a movement I really, really enjoy and really like. And on that, actually, I was a little bit stronger than I expected. I was aiming to do 15 reps, but I'm not sure how many I did, but I just kept going until the point where I was unable. So I'm not too worried about the number. Um, yeah, It's not always about the number in your head. It's sometimes more about your, like your muscle can't count. So it doesn't know whether you do 12 or 15. It just knows when it fatigues. And that's the point where I'm trying to get to at the moment. So I'll now go a little bit heavier. Probably do five, six less reps. But again, I'll do that. Pause, three seconds, maybe five seconds, force out some extra reps. I won't do a drop set on this one because it'll be too time consuming to take the pins off, take the weights off, etc. So this next set's gonna be the last one. Talk. 
So that was just one set to fairly of a drop set down to body weight. So I chose a weight that I could easily get onto myself. As many reps as I could, just keeping a nice steady tempo. Not fully locking out, but really making sure I'm going good, nice and deep. Getting that 90 degree angle. Just to the point where I would start to feel it in my shoulder because I want to isolate the chest and the tricep. So you never want to, you never want to go down too far. Keeping that tension as many as I could. And you'll notice I had some breaks to really force out those repetitions on those like heavier weights and then drop the weight as soon as you've hit fatigue. When you feel like the, the weight would actually become counterintuitive, potentially push too far, you might reach injury. And that's the great thing about a drop set is actually you can still fatigue the muscle on a much load, lighter load. So on your joints and everything else, it becomes a lot easier. It's not always about just lifting the most maximal weight. It's about, you know, feeling that contraction and yeah, still pushing fatigue and leaving your ego at the door. So on to the next one now.